We gave her a bath, and by that I mean it was like a sponge bath, and the nurses and my, some of my sister-in-laws painted her nails pink, just for something nice to do to take care of her, and so that she had little pink toenails, and um, we cut off some lockets of her hair just to keep, and I have one over there in the shadow box. And then we had um, all six, Vic is the oldest of seven kids, so his six siblings were there, and my three siblings, and two of our close friends, and then my, my close friend Justin were all there, and we each went around the room and just kind of shared our feelings, thoughts about Lucy and life and death and things we've learned from her life, and it was very tender, and... I think I was the first to speak, and I started by saying, and I was laying in the bed with her, just holding her. She had all these cords coming out, but I didn't even see the cords. It wasn't until after when I saw the pictures of her in the hospital that I saw all those machines that she was hooked up to. But I started and just said, you know, I never really wanted to be a mom. And I got this angel, and I, I've learned so much from her, and. I don't remember exactly what I said, but uh, to go from not wanting to be a mother, not feeling ready, to completely being in love with your firstborn and only child at the time, to losing her, I, I don't remember what I said exactly, but, um, but we all got to say something, and it was... It was very, very tender. And everyone left the room. And Vic and I stayed with her one last time and just stroked her hair. And we may have, we may have said a prayer together. And then he let me have the honors as, as her mother of, of holding her while they came in. And they changed her to a handheld um what, what, I don't know what they're called, the oxygen machine, so that they could unplug her, and um, they wheeled us down the hallway together, and then there's a yellow line that separates the hallway from the operating room. And as soon as we got to that yellow line, I had to get out of bed and say, here's, here's, here's my daughter, you can take her, and you can give her liver and her kidneys to to another human being and that was so hard and I walked back down the hallway and sat on my mom's lap and my mom just held me and told me how proud she was of me and 